you may begin the Loomis challenge to practice the spell. F -f Follow me, Mr. Papata. Hold down the mouse button to aim the spell. To cast Lumos, let go of the button. You may p practice on that g g g gargoyle. Lumos. <gasps> A one-use spell. That's quite bright, isn't it? Now you can c cross the chasm and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. You can only use Lumos on gargoyles, and they create platforms for you to jump on. Hey everybody, it's Pac Quasi here for the Lumos Spell Challenge. I just explained what Lumos is. You get it fairly you know, decent in the game. It's kind of late in the game right now, but whatever. This is the last spell, so you've seen the entire Harry Potter arsenal for this first game. In the meanwhile, if you, you want to go on the side with the star, uh, you know, on the upper platform above it first. Uh, on the, the right of that, there will be a secret, and you want to cast a Lumos on the gargoyle. That of which, you know, is there so you can connect the top. I've always liked how the gargoyles, you know, shake their heads and go, oh, or something. Oh. If you can't see my visual reprints, I should probably stop doing that. Anyways, two vases equals two beans equals one gargoyle statue. You just gotta love how they do that. Anyways, it creates a lot of Lumos platforms for us to be able to climb up. As you can see, Lumos, you have a tendency to be able to climb on them, which makes it su to superior. Oh crap, I'm sounding like Quirrell now. Superior to moving blocks. Well, some moving blocks. Like the ones in Flipendo Challenge, but a while ago. For now, Lumos. The only property to Lumos is it creates platforms, and that's it. There's one more tiny property of Lumos we'll be covering. You know, it lights up all around the gargoyles also, which is cool. And you just barely get on. Now, right here, a secret wizard card. If you cast Alhamora on that. Whatever it is, mirror here, apparently, you can get a wizard card in it. Pretty easy and obvious secret, but, anyways, continuing forth, we are out of that room, into the next one. Two quick vases right here. And a Wingardium Leviosa block. We haven't seen those in forever. I think the last one we saw was in the Incendio Lesson, and I said Lesson being the first level with Incendio. Didn't even say anything. And right here, the first Lumos platform that moves. Yes. Another property of Lumos is on occasion the Lumos platforms will move. It's right now it like to me it seems like 50-50 what ones do and what ones don't, however. As you can see, it just, it's a, it's a platform making mechanic. Nothing more, nothing less. You go to a certain place, you activate the spell, it makes platforms for you. Uh, 
a, a creature in the books and even in the movies which these games are based on, the Lumos is nothing but a light spell. Which it does create light and you know, things, but they utilized it in a way that made it mechanic -y. You know, it has a purpose. So it's just light, so. This isn't what they do in the books, the movies. Lumos does not do this. Is that really gonna stop us? I mean, really. Anyways, continuing forward. Uh, that's our fifth star. You can see there's a star in the middle of that room. Do not pick that up. As we showed before in a secret that I picked up with the star, that is a bonus star. There, you know, an extra star they put in the game. Okay, just to make sure that that star in the middle is does not count. You can see the star from previously in this room. And if you collect that star, you'll get in a battle with people with an with an attack straight from, from him falling down into you that you cannot stop no matter what you try, so skip that. Now, this room in the Lumos Challenge, this is where... This is the largest... Basically, this is almost the final room. Technically, it is. And this is... And that w was where you saw... Oh yeah, go to the left side first. It'll make your life tons easier. It'll create a platform rising up to an area, but you cannot do anything after that. So, if you cl try climbing on that, like, you know, moving platform, you can glitch in a way where you don't climb automatically, and that's basically, and you, f and you move, move with it, and then you try climbing, and then you fall, because you've climbed into nothingness. So don't screw up the jumps for that moving platform, no. Anyways, going down here you get another doxy. And these jumps aren't the prettiest jumps in the game. If you want to make them though, a uh, chocolate frog here, you can be able to hear another chocolate frog. Yes, they added the, you know, croaking sounds just making it. There's a chocolate frog around. And there's a Slytherin right here. I think I'm lost. He's lost, apparently. You can talk to him over and over again. You gotta wonder how, how he got here, but he's just gonna wander around and <laughs> never escape. So. Yeah, stick it to them slitherns. Like he'll just yell at you. It's like if you touch him again, you're like, stop that. And he's like, I'm lost. It's like, help me. I don't think he says help me, but anyways, now that we covered that flipendo switch, you need to go back. If you did not activate that, that Lumos gargoyle that opened up, you know, the passage, but the one that goes straight up, right? Here, you're gonna have to do it now because that is the required path. So that's why I recommend doing the le left side first since you're already here. I mean. And up here, you see near nearly headless Hello Nick. Hello again, Harry. Clever lad, you found my secret napping place. Shh. He has a secret oh. napping oh. place. I'm not. I'm not even gonna question it. Gargoyle! Now, in this small room, or this area leading to the end, there will be two sides. That left side has a chocolate frog, as you saw, and the right side has a chest of beans. But in the middle, you have the path where you're supposed to... I'm now gonna have to wait. 
the entire thing to go around. But if I'm going to have to wait this through, you're going to have to wait this through. And now you jump on it. Now we have to wait for it to go back around to where you can see is the end. You can see Quirrell out there and that proves it's the end. And all we have to do now is jump to it and not die. Oh, please don't die. Well, you can miss Luke collected all the challenge stars. 20 points for Luke Gryffindor. Yay! Off to the potions lesson. Put the potions? Potions? 